Hi everybody! So today we're going to make a plastic bag organizer and to start gather all of our scraps and we will want to have like a base of 18 inches times 20 inches at least or you can always make it bigger or smaller depending on what you want so just gather your scraps and try to do what you can and or mix it up if you want to Okay, so now we will want to lay down the pattern that we wanted or the one that we're trying to get. Uh, in retrospect, I would change this a little by laying it down like a brick wall design kind of thing where the border of each piece is offset row by row. Yeah, but of course, in whichever way that you would want to, um, it's fine. And now we will want to group them together so that we know in which way for us to piece and obviously if you would want to do it row by row it's fine still okay so after we've done all that and finalized let's chain piece all these small small pieces so it's more manageable all right so more chain piecing from one piece to the other so we will have a row instead Alright, so now lay them all together and then we will still be able to tweak the designs a little here and of course we want to join them together still. And some changes. <laughs> Alright, so we're done with piecing and now we will want to hem off top part of the organizer and also a casing for the elastics. For the elastics, you can follow the width of your elastic of your choice. The top hem, I would just do around half an inch to one inch depending on what you like. Alright, and once we have all that, clip it in place and we can just sew it off. Okay, so after some cleanup, we are able to choose our elastics. The elastics of my choice is half of the width of my organizer so I can have it nice and taut at the bottom. Alright, once we have that, we can just thread the elastics in. I prefer to sew them to the casing at each end so that it will not snap off later. But of, of course, if you like to do it your way, then by all means, please do. Alright, 
so now we are at the last leg of the project but before that i will also want to prepare a handle so i just take a strip of fabric some of the remnants that i have as well and turned it inside out by after closing the edges and reinforce the middle just something that i like to do and after we've done that we are just able to close uh, put the edges together and clip them and we can sew them shut once we're done we can just sew in the handle after And that's it. So once you sew off the handle, everything is okay. Then you can start stuffing plastic bags in it. Hope this helped. Thank you for watching.